I think they had a great game plan in game one. And, uh, you know, he was the, the start of it. Um, you know, he was my matchup. And I think, you know, um, they did a great job of communicating throughout the whole game, you know, knowing where I was, knowing where our teammates was. And, um, <clears throat> you know, Brad and the coaching staff did a great job in game one. And, um, you know, you commend that. And, you know, we have an opportunity to look at a lot of film tomorrow, uh, see ways they was uh, making us uncomfortable, uh, making myself, um, you know, off balance and um, not have a rhythm all game. So um, you know, we'd, be, we'd be much better in game two. Uh, Joseph Pavone, WEI, CLNS Media. LeBron, what did you see differently right over here? What did you see differently from the Celtics defensively that you maybe didn't see against the Pacers or the uh, or the first round matchup? Or excuse me, or the uh, Raptors? No, I've seen uh, every coverage um, pretty much. Um, and for me, uh, game one has always been a fill out game for me. Um, if you ever follow my history. So um, you know, I got a, a, a good sense of the way they played me today. and. Uh, you know, and, and how I play going to going to the game too. Ken, Ken Berger from Bleacher Report here in the middle, LeBron. Um, speaking of, of history, this building has been the scene of, of some of your greatest playoff accomplishments and and some disappointments along the way too. Um, those Celtics teams were built much differently, though. Veteran teams, Hall of Famers. How is this challenge different for you, and and how are you different now than you were back then? Uh, every every year is a different challenge. Uh, no matter if you're going against um, the previous Celtics team to the present. Um, they've always been well coached. They've always had multiple guys on the floor that can do multiple things, and they've always had two-way players. So that challenge um, has never um, – yeah, it's not like it's been different. You know, it's always been that same challenge. And, you know, for me as an individual, I just try to continue to get better every year to put myself in a position where I can be successful. Front row, Dave. David Benham and ESPN. LeBron, you guys started off 0 for 14 from three. When you're having a game like that, do you think that you and your teammates can feel the misses going into the next shot? And what do you feel about three point shots moving forward in this series for you guys as a team? Well, I mean, three pointers shots is a part of our DNA. That's who makes us, you know, the, the best team that we can be. I think um, even early on with the shots that we had, we had some wide open looks that just didn't go. Um, you know, I think in the first quarter, Jr. and Kev, G. Hill, they had some great looks. They just didn't go, and uh, and we're okay with that. You know, we're absolutely okay with that, and uh, we're going to take those same looks going into game two if we if the opportunity presents itself. Right side, Steve. LeBron, Steve Bell, Pat Boston Herald. They had a guys they were putting on you initially in, in any given possession, but you seem to be able to get the switch to a different guy pretty quickly off that. Do you think you exploited that switch enough? to get, you know, getting the secondary guy on you? Um, well, like I said, I'm getting an opportunity to break down the film tonight and tomorrow and, and see ways we can be better with, um, you know, offensively to have us a much more of a better rhythm. Joe. Joe Varden, Cleveland.com. LeBron, do you come out of this one thing and the Cavs need to adjust? Well, I mean, you you definitely have to adjust. That's that's what part of a playoff series is about, you know, the team adjusting from game to game and seeing ways you could be better. So, I mean, that's I think that's – that's an obvious question. But you, you, you were talking about how um, the three is part of your DNA. You could change a lineup uh, and go with a much different look. You could have Tristan in the front court, which would change matchups. Um, did you see enough in one game to want to go in that direction, or do you stay with what got you here? Well, I mean, you're asking a, a, a tactical question as far as something I can't control. That would be a Coach Luke question if he's want to change the lineup or not. Um, I think. Our coaching staff will give us a, the best game plan to go out and win, no matter who's in the starting lineup going to game two. Uh, the three-point shot has been always a big part since we pretty much assembled this team four years ago. Um, and I think it's going to be a big part of it throughout this series, um, you know, as long as we continue to get the ball movement and guys feeling good rhythm. Left side. Jack McCluskey from The Ringer. Um, how, Al Hofer made a couple of plays in that early run for them. How important was that to setting the tone for this game? No, I think it started from – their momentum and, and what they wanted to do started from the tip ball. You know, Horford tipped the right to, to, to Jalen Brown, and um, it looked like we had two on him. And next thing you know, he's getting a layup, you know, right off the tip. You know, so that kind of set the tone right there. And we missed some shots. They made some shots. Horford hit a, you know, a big uh, a three and, and, and also was able to get an and one and um, get Kev his early two quick fouls. So, um, you know, it kind of just started from the beginning.
Jared Weiss, the athletic. Uh, the, the Celtics defense was more physical and aggressive at the point of attack tonight than they were in the regular season. Was that something that surprised you guys when you were trying to get into your actions in the half court? What do you mean? Well, on their switches, they were. Are you trying asking to get... me, or were they more physical, or were you? Are you saying? I'm asking. I'm saying they were. I'm asking did that affect the way you guys executed your plays in the no. half court? Um, physical basketball is part of the playoffs. That's what you expect. Um, I don't think you can just say that because you're not on the floor. Um, but physical basketball is a part of the postseason. So, you know, it's easy to make a narrative when you win or lose to say, okay, you guys play bad offensively and you lost and then you win. You're like, oh, you know, you play better. So um, physical basketball started from game one in the Indiana series when Indiana punched us in the mouth too in game one. And it's been like that throughout. Front right. Bob Schron, the citizen. Uh, LeBron, um, you guys were off practically a week. Did you feel that you might have lost some of your rhythm as a result? And was it kind of loose at the beginning of the game for you guys? Thank you. No, I don't think so. I thought um, offensively we got to where we wanted to get to. Um, but they also um, you know, shut off a few things that we wanted to you know, do as well. But I don't think it was a rhythm thing. I think uh, we had some really good looks. We've been off before in previous years where we had you know, weeks and weeks and a half, uh, week and a half. So uh, that's, that has nothing to do with it. At the end of the day, you play the game when the schedule comes out and you get ready to go. Go with our last two, Marla up front and then Steve. Marla Rodney, our Akron Beacon Journal. When the start of the fourth, I think they cut it to 14. Um, do you have any idea what, I mean, I think they scored seven quick ones. Anything, what happened there? What happened? Um, we ran them, the first possession, we ran them down all the way. The two on the shot clock, Marcus Morris missed a jump shot, followed it up, he got it, they got a dunk. Uh, we came back down, we ran a set for Jordan Crawford, I mean Jordan Clarkson, and he came off and missed it. They rebounded it. Um, and we came back on the defensive end and we got a stop. They took it out on the sideline. Jason Tatum took the ball out, threw it to Marcus Smart in the short corner, he made a three. We come back down, missed another shot, and then um, Tatum came down and went 94 feet, did a roll step, and made a right-hand layup timeout. <laughs> there you go. Last, last question, Steve. Uh, LeBron, Steve Belpat, Boston Herald. You, not your first rodeo. Down one nothing. What's your level of concern at this stage? I have zero level of concern at this stage. Um, I didn't go to college. So it's not March Madness. Um, you know, you, you get better throughout the series. You see ways you can get better throughout the series. But I've been down 0-1. I've been down 0-2. Uh, I've been down before in the postseason. Um, but for me, there's never no level of concern, no matter how bad I play tonight with seven turnovers, um, how inefficient I was shooting the ball, um, just as confident going into a series, no matter if, I, if it's a 0-0 series or I'm down 0-1. So, we have another opportunity to, to be um, better as a ball club uh, coming in Tuesday night, and, uh, and we'll see what happens.